have challenged Secretary Clinton and challenged her and challenged her. She still refuses to come on board and lift the cap. The Democratic presidential race remains heated with just weeks of primaries remaining. This is WSJ's Campaign Fight Club. This matchup is between Senator Bernie Sanders and former Secretary of State Hillary Clinton. After months of criticizing Clinton's ties to special interests and Wall Street, Sanders took aim at a new target, the Hillary Victory Fund, which is a joint fundraising effort between Clinton and the Democratic National Committee. The joint fund, which raised $33.6 million in the first quarter, is allowed to collect big dollar donations for candidates, the DNC, and state parties. But in an open letter to the DNC, the Sanders campaign said it had concerns about, quote, serious apparent violations of campaign finance laws, claiming that the Democratic Party was improperly using funds only to benefit Clinton by spending nearly $7 million on online advertising and roughly $5.5 million on direct marketing. The Sanders campaign also raised concerns that the Victory Fund was improperly subsidizing Clinton's campaign. Clinton's camp immediately fired back, saying in a statement, as Senator Sanders faces nearly insurmountable odds, he is resorting to baseless accusations of illegal actions and poisoning the well for Democratic candidates up and down the ticket. The DNC said it offered to engage in the same joint fundraising efforts with Sanders, even setting up a Bernie victory fund. And while Clinton has continued to defend herself from Sanders' attacks, that hasn't stopped Sanders supporters from calling her out. Before a recent top dollar fundraising event at actor George Clooney's California home, they threw dollar bills at Clinton's motorcade in protest. So here's what Clooney had to say about that. But the overwhelming amount of the money that we're raising is not going to Hillary to run for president. Uh, it's going to the down ticket. It's going to the congressmen and senators to try to take back Congress. But is the Hillary Victory Fund engaged in activity that violates campaign finance laws? Experts say the Joint Fundraising Committee's operations are unusual, but it's unclear whether or not they're illegal.